Good morning, everyone. Uh, it's Drew here. We're headed down to the squash today for our first live shoot. Um, here we are on our way. Uh, I'm just going to show you the direction to get there. So let's hang on. Boop. Okay. We are off. Oh, jeez. A little cold today, about 27 Fahrenheit, a little wind blowing, a little snow, standard January day here in upstate New York. <coughs> now we're going to head down Main Street and out of town, uh, take you past the Canastota recreational fields that we went by yesterday. One of the joys of living here is nothing's really that far away, especially if you want to see something nice and pretty. So we just cruise along down Main Street. We're going to stay on Main Street and go right out of town. This is one of the two thoroughfares that get you to Oneida Lake. Again, here we are. There's the car wash from yesterday. Going under the other trestle in town. Well, there's our auto parts store, one of them. There's our library again. Thank you, Mr. Carnegie. Our local dentist. Lady walking, very big dog. <laughs> That's a bag of poop. We are just cruising along. There's a graystone again. This is also our, uh, I believe it's the police and fire memorial that they made. Founders Park is what they call it. Never really been there. I should probably go take you guys with me. Again, here we are, classic side of town. You get your older buildings, like off here on the right, you see the flat roofs or the very, very low angle of uh, pitch. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a uh oh. I'm not a uh, carpenter, by the way. Just some guy trying to make his way through life. Okay, now yesterday, this is where we turned into the, the Canastota Recreational Field. Well, we're going straight out today, kids. As you can see, there's basically nothing. Um, this is a highly rural area. It has been as long as I can remember. So the, the houses get fewer and farther in between the further out you get. Now there's our water treatment plant. What do you freaking do? Almost to the shoot site already, so it should be pretty quiet down here. Well, that's new. I don't remember those. Oh, look, giant solar field. That's definitely new. God damn, that's huge. turn right here. Road's going to get a little rough, but we're headed down here anyway. This is Hardwood Island Road. As you can see, it 
It's a bumpy dirt road. Yeah. And a nice no dumping sign. People do tend to dump down here when they get the chance or the opportunity. You can see it's fields everywhere. This is some of the nicest soil around because all of this used to be bump swamp. It's not swamp anymore. Ever since the Erie Canal came through and exposed a lot of this and I'll meet these lovely fields with this lovely growing soil. There's farmers all along down here. And most of these are, are some of them are, are owned by corporations, but most of them by private individuals. Um, and they come down here in the summer and they spring, fall, and they shoot ducks and shoot geese and all that fun stuff. This used to be a bridge up here, but it's not anymore. Uh, yeah. So really, it's just abandoned. And again, no dumping, bridge closed, that kind of stuff. But, well, here we are. And this is it for now. So I will get back to you. Geese. January. Upstate New York. Usually something you do not see. Usually long gone by now. As you can see, there's a whole lot of snow on the ground. There's a solar farm. That's pretty cool. That's pretty new. But down that way, that's the way to, well, the other side of the squash. So, that's pretty cool. For the longest time, this was closed. And now this seems they've opened it up a little bit, but not a whole lot. Which is kind of nice. Nice little walk path, bike path. You can see, they're telling you where you can go. And that's back down that road over there. So, it's good to know where you're going. Especially out here. This is the other side of the bridge. Basically giving you a big fat warning not to try to drive through here. <laughs> Anybody who does that at this point is, well, never driven down here. Uh, oh, those trees look like they were cut down relatively recently, so this could all be pretty new, as far as I know. But you keep going down that way, you'll end up on one of the other back roads that leads into town that we'll hit up eventually. So, that's where I am right now. Okay, so today's video is shot. Uh, it's time to head home and edit. A little freaking cold out, but that's all right. Nothing major. So here we go on the trip home. <sighs> now, in the whole time I've been here, which is probably just over an hour, I have seen the grand total of two vehicles. One of them was a pickup truck with a couple guys in it, and the other was this truck up here. It's probably filled with manure. I saw him filling it. It's way over here on our left now. So, wow. My dashboard says 27, but some wind out here too so it's a little chilly I'm seeing Canadian geese everywhere which in upstate New York in January you don't see Canadian geese <coughs> oh and there goes the camera again oh no man down that's what I'm talking about that just doesn't happen anymore it's January it should be long gone there should be feet of snow on the ground but there they are. I scared them off by driving up, so I'm going to drive off now so that they can get a good feed in for the day. Right, good day. It's Drew here. Uh, we're getting ready to head down to do our first live film shoot. We're going to head down to the squash this morning, so uh, enjoy the ride down and, um, well, talk to you when we get there.
see how this holds up. I don't know how well that's going to hold, but here we go anyway. Right out the back of the driveway, obviously. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!